Hi, thank you for joining us at Stringfellow um, as we broadcast this podcast and many more to come. My name is Troy Lars and today is the 30th of January 2018. Hot topic of the day, well that would be Capitec. So you may have seen in the news or in the media that there was a 33 page report released by a company called Viceroy on Capitec. Why is it relevant? Well it's already seen a 15% drop in the share price today just on the back of that report. So what does that report say? So that report basically says uh, that Capitec is a loan shark type of company in, in a nutshell. They're basically saying that they, they don't have the liquidity or capitalization and it's a bit of a concern. Uh, Viceroy, you might not have heard of them, but I'm pretty sure you've heard of Steinoff. And if you remember, on the 5th of December, uh, they had Mark Uist resigned, uh, basically stepped down, uh, and the share price fell by 82%. A lot of that 82% has also got to do with the fact of liquidity and all sorts of issues that Viceroy highlighted. Now, something you need to also bear in mind when you look at the company Viceroy is that Viceroy was founded by a guy called Fraser Pering. Now, Fraser Pering is a short seller. Why is that relevant? Well, he basically benefits when, when share prices drop. So it's not to say that, that he will benefit from Capitec or Steinoff. Um, I think that uh, we don't have that information whether he's investing, but it's just something just to bear in mind. The facts might be correct, but at this stage, one must also bear in mind that Capitec have not actually had the chance to respond. We're waiting for a response from them. Another factor to take into account is that the Reserve Bank have already said that Capitec are solvent. So the Reserve Bank actually govern Capitec. So I think it's a little bit too early at this stage to make a judgment call in terms of Capitec, and I do think you need to take all the facts into account. And it's these type of subjects that we'd like to present in this podcast to make you aware of all the facts that we are aware of and bring it to your attention. Highlighting the need to have a good financial advisor or a good asset management who are looking after your funds. So please stay tuned to these podcasts. Give us your feedback. We'd really appreciate it. Let us know what you like. We're on all the social media platforms and any feedback that you will give to us, we'd really appreciate to see what we can do to offer value to you as our potential client. Thank you very much. And this is Troy from Streamfiller. I look forward to uh, hearing from you soon. All the best.